how to install or upgrade a graphics card into a desktop computer. Before I show you how to physically perform the installation, let's first cleanly remove our old graphics card's drivers. If you're not swapping out an old card for a new one and just adding a card to a fresh system, you can skip this section and begin watching at the timestamp on the screen now. But if you are removing an old card, it's recommended to uninstall its drivers before installing the new ones, as there could potentially be leftover files and driver conflicts if you don't. Let's start by obtaining our new video card's driver. For this video, we're working with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 on a Windows 10 64-bit system. You should be able to find your card's drivers on its chipset manufacturer's official website, this one again being NVIDIA's. Download the driver, but don't install it just yet. Enter your device manager, locate display adapters, and your old card's driver should be chilling right there. Right-click it and select Uninstall Device. I'm also going to check Delete the driver software for this device to make sure things are extra squeaky clean. Don't worry, you'll still be able to see your screen, as Windows will load up a stupid crappy default driver for the time being. Next, we're going to fire up Display Driver Uninstaller, or DDU, a free software you can download right now. Link in the description. If you want to be extra, extra clean, boot your computer into safe mode. How do you do this? Some computers have their own special rules, but generally speaking, you mash F8 while your computer is starting up. Alternatively, you can hold the Shift key as you click the Restart button in Windows. This will take you to the Advanced Startup menu, where you should find an option for safe mode. Regardless, run DDU. You can just leave all these settings that come up alone, but I'm going to dick around with them a little bit for my personal preferences. But again, if you just leave them alone, you should be fine. Afterward, go ahead and shut the system down. It's time for installation. First, like when you're performing all PC hardware modifications, make sure all external devices are unplugged from the system and its power is turned off. If your power supply has a switch, I hope it does, turn it off as well. Set the tower on its side and remove the front side panel. Most have two screws located in the back, but my chassis side panel has one flat head near the top. So let's pop that sucker off. Since I'm performing an upgrade, I first have to remove my old video card. If there's any power cables connected to it, start by unplugging them. They'll have latches you'll have to depress with your fingers, but if they're really stubborn, you can use pliers. Once they're all out, it will be time to unscrew the GPU. If it's a dual slot card like this one is, there should be two screws holding it into place. But if you have a single slotter, there will only be one. Look at that! Half the work out of the way! Congratulations on everything! Once the cables and screws are out, there's only one thing left to do, to disconnect the card. In the upper right corner of the slot it's installed in, there will be some kind of latch. There's a few different types, but the most common one I see simply needs to be depressed downward. Push down on it with your finger, and it should lift the card out. If you're having trouble reaching or disengaging it, you can use a long tool like a screwdriver. Or just find somebody who has really, really long fingers. One really, really long finger should do the trick. Once freed from the motherboard's clutches, it's time to lift. Carefully elevate the graphics card out of the system. Now that the coast is clear, it's time to install the new one. If you're not performing an upgrade, and rather just installing a card into a fresh system, then you can just forget everything I previously told you. But you will have to make sure you're using the correct slot, and every single scenario that I know of, it's a PCIe X16, the longest one. And its expansion covers attached to the rear of the case are out. These protect the inside of the system from dust and annoying garbage like that. But if they're taking up the space of where your video card needs to go, tell them sayonara. The expansion slot covers are typically just attached on with screws. Unscrew them, then lift them out. You can even use the same screws to screw the card in. Look at how convenient that that is. See, life isn't always a miserable prison. However, some cases, usually OEM ones, don't have their expansion slot cover screwed in, in which case you'll just have to rip them out. Yes, you heard that right. Rip them out. They're usually made of soft, thin aluminum. You should be able to detach them with your fingers and nothing more. Now let's get this rubber protector off of the graphics card's pins. I actually attempted to install this thing with it on by accident. Took me a while to realize why it wouldn't fit. Gently place her in. Softly, sensually, nice and easy. If you aligned it correctly, you should hear a subtle click. Click! This is the PCIe slot's latch locking into place. Once in, line it up with the rear of the case, and screw her in. You don't need to really crank down at it or anything, but it shouldn't be wobbling too much. If we're physically stable, plug in the power connectors, if your car needs any. There's only one possible way they can fit. Just match up the unique patterns of the connectors with the slots on the card. Now let's talk about these power connectors real quick. Graphics cards, if they require any, will use PCIe connectors from the power supply. Either 6-pin, 8-pin, or a combination of both. With all power supplies, I've seen, there will be what are known as breakaway connectors, which are 8-pin connectors that have two detachable pins on them, effectively converting them into 6-pin connectors. This video card I just installed requires one 8-pin and one 6-pin, so let's throw them in. If in all the way, they'll latch into place, and again, like the graphics card itself, you should hear them click. We're all set, get your display plugged into the card along with all the other cables as usual, and fire her up, buttercup! If your display gets a signal, congratulations, you did it! Now install the drive 
whatever you previously downloaded and let it do its magic. The end. That is how you install a graphics card into a desktop PC. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel if you're interested in other computer techie how-to nonsense. And if you have any questions, any at all, as always, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Torx out.